All right, Matt Moore, Shaw Football Insiders. We're uh, back once again doing another player interview. Uh, excited to talk to this young man tonight. A uh, very talented kid. Uh, he's grown up in the Mallard Creek program uh, for years, and uh, we're gonna get his perspective on things and see, you know, how he's been doing, doing and handling things throughout this pandemic. And that's uh, Xavion Brower. Uh, Xavion, how you doing tonight, man? I'm, I'm doing good. How about you? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. It felt like we kind of done this before. So <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. All right. Um, so we got COVID-19 going on throughout the world. Um, and it's just, you know, wrecking everything. It's, of course, affecting high school football uh, right now. Um, in your opinion, what do we need to do as a society to uh, combat COVID-19 and, you know, hopefully get on the field this season? Uh, if we want football back, I feel like as a society, we need to wear masks. I mean, it's plain and simple. If everybody wears a mask, we'll get football back. But it can't just be groups of us. It has to be the whole community. I mean, we I, everybody has to come together and do this. Yeah, I totally agree. Now, you, you and your teammates and, you know, your friends, do you all wear masks when you go out and do things and everything? Oh, yeah, all the time. We, they say on us about it, though. I mean, parents, they, they're very – they want us to stay healthy, so yeah, we're we're on it. Good, good. Hopefully, we can get everybody else on. We can start, you know, getting some real football going. Um, so we saw you at the Carolina Experience Camp uh, on Friday. I thought you did very well. You were um, putting the ball on point, especially in one-on-one -on -one matchups. Um, what kind of training have you been doing to stay ready for uh, next season? I've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of going to the field with my receivers, running backs. Anybody who just wants to come get work, I've been going to the field a lot with them. And then I had a personal trainer over this whole pandemic, and he's really helped me just get my body into shape. So all that plays a key factor. And then also just my dad, him helping out around the house in our uh, in-home. Uh, we have a gym in the garage. So all that's just key, big key factors to it. Man, I need to talk to your dad. I need to get me a gym in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> That would help me out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so I talked about, you know, your um, performance at the camp this past weekend. I thought it was really impressive. Um, there's a lot of things I like about your game that I'll get to in a second. But in your opinion, what are the things that you do best on the field at the quarterback position? I feel like as a quarterback, the best thing I do is reading defense. Like a lot of film goes into it, but reading the defense is very big in my play. Uh, and I'm also great with my feet. So if there's a play that isn't being made, I can also make it with my feet and a busted play. So I feel like those are two big key factors about my gameplay and my accuracy. My I have a lot of deep ball accuracy, and that's those are very big, crucial parts of my game. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, you know, earlier I said, you know, I think – the best comparison for your game that I can reference is Steve Young. I mean, left-handed quarterback, um, kind of a dual threat, can, you know, get out of the pocket and make plays uh, when things break down, as you mentioned. Uh, but the timing and the pinpoint accuracy, um, and you mentioned the deep ball. You know, I saw that, you know, when you guys played West Shard on JV last year. Um, and you've got a lot of weapons <laughs> on this team uh, coming back this season. So I know you're excited about you know, putting that deep ball out to, um, you know, guys like uh, Coleman, Jeff Coat, and Elijah Metcalf and, you know, all those guys at the receiver position. Yeah, definitely. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, I love the shirt that you've got on, um, you know, Mallet Creek back-to-back -back <laughs> champions. Um, so I'm going to ask you, what does the tradition of Mallet Creek football mean to you? The tradition of Mallet Creek football, to me, is all about family. I mean, I've been around Mallet Creek. I've been around the program since I was about nine, and I've seen Mallet Creek at their highest points. I've seen them back, the back to back to back state champions, and the biggest thing for them is family and senior senior leadership. And I mean, with the team we got coming up this year, the seniors we got are just amazing, and they're staying on everybody. And our senior leadership looks just like our 2015 team with LJ, Javon Harbison, and I mean, we we got something for everybody. We got something. Yeah, yeah. You referencing back to that 2015 team, man. That brings back some memories and, you know, just yeah. seeing <laughs> Mallet Creek dominate, you know, on the field. You know, we were, you know, I was covering games, of course, back then as well and even coaching back in 2013 and 14. And, you know, just 
you know, it was kind of like the feeling of, you know, you're walking into a game and you're like, man, what are we going to do? Um, yeah. <laughs> And um, you know, it, it's that it was it was just you know crazy the way you know Malakreet dominated you know under you know the leadership of Mike Paul Mary, and uh, we're gonna get to uh, coaches here in just a second. Um, but I want to you know kind of ask you about last season on JV, and you guys had a ton of success. You are our number one team in our JV rankings at you know Charlotte Football Insiders. Um, do you feel the success that you guys had on JV will translate to varsity? Um, after losing a lot of some of that senior leadership you mentioned. Yeah, I mean, we lost a lot, but we still have a lot of players. And we have bits and pieces here and there that we need to put together. But it's also the no-name people we have. And they really work their tail off. And whenever they get their chance, they're really going to show. But also what helped me mainly, me and my uh, fellow teammates that's coming up to varsity next year, was definitely the coach – the coaching from Coach Little John and Coach Nelson, et cetera, because they also treat us as not a JV player, but a varsity they a varsity player. They ran our practice in a varsity way, and that helped tremendously. Good deal, good deal. You mentioned you know those two guys and uh, Coach Little John especially. Um, you know, embodies what Mallard Creek is, in my opinion, being there for so long, running the weight program, head track coach. Um, you know, they, they did an awesome job. I totally agree with you. Um, now, speaking of coaches, you have a new head coach and uh, Candy Tinsley coming in, taking over for, uh, you know, Coach Paul Mary that's gone down to Georgia. Uh, what are your thoughts on him and coming into the program and transitioning? Uh, for me, Coach Tinsley is, he's the perfect leader. I mean, Everything he preaches, he also also does, and it's not like it's not like he's setting us up for nothing bad. Like everything he does is for a good purpose with us, and some of the stuff we needed. Coach Tinsley, like he just helps out. He helps out in a tremendous way, and he's also brought in a tremendous coaching staff that is destined for greatness. Like the people he's put us around is just. It's top notch. It's top. It's grade A. So it's going to be a lot. We're going to show people a lot of people a lot of things. Good deal. Good deal. Excited to uh, you know get over there when this stuff gets started and uh, you know meet you know some of the new coaches. Um, I have talked with Coach Tinsley for uh, an extended period of time. We did an interview a couple of weeks back, and I, I agree with you. A great, great man, um, great leader. You know for your program. Um, who would you like to shout out for your football successes so far? Well, definitely first is going to be God. I mean, nobody's here without him. I mean, he's just been a, a, the biggest factor in my life. Grandma's a pastor. She stays on She stays on me about just praising him. Then it will definitely have to be my father. My father has just helped me on my roughest points, my lowest points. And he gets me out of, he gets me out of trouble and also teaches me what to do next time. And sometimes I may not listen, but I mean, he, he really helps me. Then my mother, of course. I mean, my mother makes sure that I have everything. I make sure that I'm prepared for everything. And my siblings, my siblings, they just push me so much. They don't even understand. Like, I've got three little siblings, and I mean, they mean the world to me. And just for me to succeed, that pushes me even more further. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. So whole family supports. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, so talk about um, Zay away from the game. Um, what do you like to do to relax, get your mind off things, um, you know, away from football? Yeah, so, I mean, I'm, I love the water. I love going to the pool. I mean, that's really big for me. Uh, then I'd have to say going to my grandparents. I mean, my grandparents live in the country. It's 20 acres of grass. You can go do whatever you want. And we love riding four-wheelers and dirt bikes down there. I mean, that's just what we get out of fun. How to go see is amazing. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. That's a little bit old school, you know how how we grew up back in the. Uh, yeah. Well, I ain't gonna say the years, but back man. in the day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We'll say that. <laughs> uh, what are your last question? What are your goals for the uh, upcoming season here? Off is just to get the seniors out with a state champion. I mean, anything less is just not acceptable because they don't put their all into the 
into the team, into the uh, Malakrit organization for so long. I feel like the only way they need to leave is with the ring. And I feel like if we all give it their all, our junior class, our sophomore class, our freshman class, then they will give it their all for my senior year. And I feel like that's the only way we, I, that's the only goal that is. That's the only goal that there is. I mean, my, their personal goals, everybody's personal goals, that's all, that's really second. That's secondary. But I mean, the main, main big goal is just winning that state championship. Well said, well said. And spoken like a leader at the quarterback position. That's awesome, man. Um, you know, I want to thank you once again for, you know, taking out the time and, and coming on here with us and, you know, giving us a little bit of perspective in to how you've been doing and how you're going to uh, lead this Mallow Creek program, man. Yes, sir.